Good morning and praise the Lord. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a brand new day. Blessed be the name of the Lord who has given us this day and brought us to this time. And as we begin the day's activities and face the day's uh, labor and anxieties, let us give ourselves a few minutes to listen to the voice of God. You know, my friends, the voice of God will revive you, to give you strength, and he, that, that voice will energize you to face this day without fear. And so, today's meditation is taken from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 24 to 26. Let me read it for you. This is a wonderful passage concerning Moses. He says, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Esteeming the reproach of Christ rather a greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. This is the word of the Lord for us today. Now there are four things I want to mention here very quickly for your consideration. Number one, do not look back to the things you left. For the sake of Jesus. Now, Consider Moses, he left the highest privileges one can enjoy here in this earthly life. He left all. Why? He knowingly chose and chose to, to be with his own people and to suffer shame and afflictions and all these kind of things with the people of God. He left it all for his people and for God's sake. And my friends, when you want to follow Jesus, definitely there are things, there are people you will have to give up. Because they become hindrances to our progress with the Lord. And uh, like Moses, once he left, he left. And therefore, do not look back to the things and to people whom you have left for the sake of God's people and God himself. The world you left. It's pleasures you left. It's friendships you left. It's riches you left. And the name and fame you left. All for the sake of following Jesus Christ. That you may enjoy greater riches. And a greater men and women to be your family members and a greater um, uh, friendship, friendship with Jesus, which brings you into friendship with God's people. And there are no other friendships that can be so rich, so comforting, and so enjoyable. They are all, you know why? The first things I mentioned, the pleasures, the world, and the enjoyments, and the riches, and the friendships of this world, they are all kept for distraction. None of this is permanently with you. But the friendship with Jesus will last forever through eternity. And therefore, everyone who belongs to Jesus 
and the riches of a peace and love and joy will be yours forever and my friends that is the reason secondly do not look back to your failures why it will slow down your progress in christian life if you keep on looking at your failures but now that you have repented and returned to god look to him who can make your future in the days to come more glorious and rewarding than ever so don't let your progress with christ with christian life slow down by remembering of the past failures and thirdly do not uh, look back to your background you left there are many of us whose background are not very good many of us were born poor we have been uh, considered as as a uh, as as ordinary less than ordinary not worth and so we didn't have many friends and there are other things maybe in your own case so don't look back to your background from which you came let it be any background it's gone once you found jesus christ then all you have to concern yourself with is your relationship with jesus christ he is not going to look down on you he is not going to 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 keep himself away from you he loves you as he loves anybody else he shows no partiality he he, he doesn't distinguish between you and someone who is richer than you no in his sight all of us are needy people needing his salvation and his love which he generously give us and so always remember doesn't matter which background you come from now you have jesus the lord of creation and the lord of all glory and the lord of all riches that is enough for you and so make sure that you don't look back to your backgrounds uh, that you left look forward to the riches and the life everlasting and the full lasting friendship with jesus himself wow and then there are millions and millions of saints of god together will be living with christ forever and then fourthly do not look back to your success and victories you know why they may cause you to think you have already attained and you have already arrived don't make that mistake but always remember what the apostle paul's motto was which i want to read to you in philippians chapter 3 philippians chapter 3 chapter 3 verse 12 philippians chapter 3 verse 12 says not as though i had already attained either were already perfect but I follow after if that I may apprehended of Christ Jesus. What apostle Paul is saying here is I don't claim that I have arrived I have attained all these perfection that I want. But uh, I that will not stop me from pressing on. Instead of looking backward I look forward looking unto Jesus who is the finisher and author and finisher of my faith i run this race hallelujah that 
is what we need to do instead of looking back and feeling sorry and dejected and discouraged ah uh, that should not happen what you left your background everything is gone now you have a new direction now look forward as you are running this race you don't want to lose the race amen and so here are these three th four things you must keep in mind from moses's life eh uh, do not look back to the things you have left they are all kept for destruction secondly do not look back to your failures it will slow down your progress in christian life thirdly do not look back to your background you left and fourthly do not look back to your successes and victories because that will cause you to think you have already attained everything no like the apostle paul look forward run the race and look ahead a looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith let us keep on running the race hallelujah in spite of all the problems and difficulties and heartaches and hindrances we may face let us not slow down let us keep running our redemption day is very near get ready to see jesus face to face when you shall be like him amen look forward to it heavenly father we thank you for the holy spirit who not only enlightens us and help us to uh, have the correct direction to look to jesus and press on with all the problems and hindrances we will not allow the hindrances to stop us from pressing on press on and you are very near to your destination when you shall see jesus amen god bless you